Hello my little beauties, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire. Today I want to put the case that jQuery Mobile, after all these years, is still the best CSS framework for websites that look great on mobile devices. Now, I did not want this to be the best. Heaven knows, I've looked around here, there and everywhere, but it's just the way it goes. It's the best. Now, here's the vibe. We're talking about like hardcore, not talking about like, you know, bootstrap and your usual CSS frameworks. We're talking hardcore, absolutely touch optimized, geared for your mobile phone type CSS frameworks. There's not too many of them. And with this perfectly seamless edit, let me just tell you something, folks. You know, with just a few lines of code, especially if you know something like PHP, you can detect what kind of device somebody's on and you can serve them up a fantastic website geared for desktop apps if that's what they're on, or you can give them an entirely different experience with a different CSS framework and everything if they happen to be on a mobile device. So with that in mind, look, I don't want a mobile first framework. I want a mobile first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and even last CSS framework because we have the ability to flip between the two different types of sites, right? So why not just make something that's awesome on a mobile device? That's what we're talking about today. That's the vibe. And I think this is the best. Now, let me give you some background. I have used this um, commercially back in 2012 when I first used it and uh, that was a long time ago and it's hardly changed since then. I don't even think it's been updated in the last five years and last week, actually it's just about 10 days ago now that I think of it, it was late at night and I had an idea for a little project, it was no big deal, I had a look around and I discovered this, this is hip. This is new. This is Framework 7. And so I thought, right, I'll do something with this. This is going to be great. And, you know, it's, it's going to be Framework 7. Brand new, very hip. I should be dressed like a rapper and saying cliches from time to time, underlining how tough I am. It's that bloody hip, folks. I started building this app with Framework 7 just in the middle of the night. This is my framework. Seven looks cool, right? But when I went back to it a few days later, it just seemed slow. Everything seemed kind of difficult. And so I went back to Google, had a look around, eventually stumbled upon jQuery Mobile. I don't think it's even been updated for about five years. But as I looked around and went back into the documentation, what I discovered was a whole universe of awesome stuff that, for some reason, we all forgot about. I mean, look at these page transitions. Boom. <laughs> look at that. That's awesome, right? And that's just one. We've got all sorts of different ones that we can choose. It's got incredible uh, buttons and form fields and icons and grid, grid layouts, you name it. And uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic, the navigation. It's it's such a shame that I'm showing you it on a normal screen here, but take my word for it, on a phone, this thing looks absolutely incredible. And the other thing about jQuery, of course, jQuery gets a lot of bad press, and I understand that. But let me tell you something, folks. jQuery has got phenomenal browser compatibility. None of the other hipster frameworks or anything can say the same thing. And in the case of jQuery Mobile, you've even got this thing called the Theme Roller. I don't know if you've seen that. It's, uh, ah, there it's there, I missed the button. But here it is right here, actually, we're on it right now. And it's a really fantastic uh, resource. You have these designs and you choose your colour schemes and whatnot. I think you drag on, yep, that's what we do. So we drag on and you can, you know, make things just the way you like them and then download the CSS. It's fantastic. Now, best of all, by the way, more than any of that stuff is the designs. Have you seen some of the designs that have been produced 
with jQuery Mobile, let me give you a quick tour of just a few of them. And by the way, most of these sites aren't even up anymore, it's that old. It's really strange, right? It's this really old front-end framework, but check some of these out. Look at this. Stanford. That's an awesome design for a mobile device. Here's another. That's, I mean, I've built maybe about 12 car leasing websites. I would be proud to have a design like that even today on a mobile device. Here's another. Look at the use of colors here. It's just really great. Look at, look at all of the calls to action right in front of you. Nice, clear navigation. Another nice one. And look at this. This is actually my favorite. And Zoopla is a huge site here in the UK. Here's another one. Look at, the, it's a shame the picture quality is not so good, but look at the top navigation here. Look at those buttons, the positioning, the colors. Look at how they've got a carousel right there on the front of the actual screen. These are, of course, designs that are optimized for a mobile device, but I just happen to think they're really, really good. Now, have I missed something here, folks? Maybe I have. I mean, it's funny, when you go to the jQuery mobile gallery thing, in fact, I'll bring it up, there's some awesome designs here, but you can see the page is still loading because the whole project seems to be abandoned and it's a real shame. There's nothing wrong with the, the code, it's just that it's it hasn't been looked after. I don't think it's had any changes for about five years. Look at, I mean, the picture's blurred, but look at that Rolex design here. They thought it was good enough. United Airlines, look at the icons here. Again, it's very blurred, but some of the stuff with jQuery Mobile is absolutely fantastic. I'm not much of a jQuery expert, but what I can tell you is that as far as JavaScript libraries and frameworks go, it's the only one that I've found that has acceptable levels of, brow of browser compatibility. jQuery in general is just very, very solid, unlike Angular, Vue, React, and so on. This jQuery, this is the one that's going to work on the old Blackberries and everything, and that's a good thing. And of course, you get access to things like jQuery UI, where you get you know, a gazillion widgets like this. Look at how smooth everything is, you know? So I take the viewpoint that after all these years, I still think that jQuery Mobile is the best CSS framework for mobile devices. Maybe I'm wrong though. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll catch you in the next one.